GPU shortage is still giving gamers a tough time as developers keep pushing more and more next-gen game titles that are hard to resist. In this situation, players who are planning on upgrading their gaming rig will certainly find budget costs more appealing compared to sky-high priced next-gen GPUs such as the RTX 3090 Ti. Followed by this, both AMD and Nvidia have just released their brand new budget GPUs, the RX 6500 XT and the RTX 3050. Although both of these cards belong to the same budget category, one of them is certainly better compared to the other one. In this video, we are going to compare these two budget GPUs head on to help you make a better purchasing decision. So, without further delay, let's get started. Having a retail price of $249, the RTX 3050 has 8GB of VRAM, 1.55GHz of base, and 1.78 GHz of boost clock speed. Based on the Ampere architecture, this card also has 2560 CUDA cores coupled with 9 shader, 18 ray tracing, and 73 tensor teraflops, making it an ideal GPU for 1080p gaming. And as for the RX 6500 XT, it's priced at around $199 and incorporates 4 GB of VRAM with 2.61 GHz of base and 2.82 GHz of boost clock. Core counts include 1024 shaders and 16 ray tracing cores with a blend of 64 texture mapping and 32 render output units, which also meets the criteria of being a reliable 1080p gaming GPU. Now clearly, RTX 3050 has more goodies to offer with a slightly increased price that is justifiable by the 4GB of additional VRAM and about 40% more rendering units, which is likely to result in an overall better graphical performance. Talking about performance, PC Gamer has benchmarked the RX 6500 XT and it yielded an average score in terms of 1080p gaming as well as raw graphical performance. Here, we can see this card achieving a 2383 index score in the 3D Mark Spy test, which is quite left behind compared to other mid-range cards currently on the market. As for its gaming performance, 6500 XT extracted about 55 FPS in Shadow of the Tomb Raider at 1080p highest settings. RTX 3050 on the other hand takes a huge leap in FPS count over the 6500 XT. It extracts about 91 FPS in Shadow of the Tomb Raider in 1080p highest quality settings which is significantly higher compared to the 6500 XT's capability. 3050 also holds its ground really well in ray tracing performance as we are seeing about 38 FPS gap between the RTX 3050 and RX 6500 XT in 1080p ultra setting while ray tracing on. With a retail price difference of only $50, the RTX 3050 is clearly the better option here with more spec counts and better performance. Performance on the 6500 XT varies depending on which PCIe version you pair with it. On PCIe 4.0, you get a slight FPS boost compared to the PCIe 3.0. Nevertheless, both of these cards might be a good solution for building a mid-range gaming rig if we can manage to get them close to the retail price. But when it comes to RTX 3050 versus RX 6500 XT, 3050 is the only answer. So, that was all about the RTX 3050 vs RX 6500 XT debate. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and comment below to let us know your thoughts. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.